What's good? It's your boy Nate the Great back with another video. Uh, I've seen that a lot of people have been uh, making guns on YouTube and they've been using like semi advanced stuff with like Raycast. So today I'll just teach you how to do it with a Raycast and with a part. So first you'll need a, a tool and a handle. I have mine right here. Then you need to put a script and a local script inside of the tool. So like that, I'll put the script here. You'll also need a remote event right here. I'm gonna just call this fired like that. Okay, so here we'll put this in the starter pack for now. And first thing we have to do is we need to get a player. So local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then we get the mouse, so player get Right? So script.parent.handle activated. Connect function like that. Wait, not the handle. My bad, guys. Activated connect function. I was tripping for a sec. And then we do script.fired our server with the mouse param and we'll do mouse I hit because we need to know the position of when you clicked it so here we'll do game dot no we'll do um, script dot parent dot fired dot on server event connect function player and then we'll have our mouse variable so first we need to write, define our stuff so Local character equals player dot character or player dot character added wait. So then we'll get our bullet. So local bullet equals game dot server stores dot wait for child bullet and then we'll clone it. And then bullet.parent equals workspace and then bullet dot position equals script dot parent dot parent dot handle dot position right because we wanted to start at our handle now we'll insert a body velocity and we'll call this bv instance dot new body velocity and then we'll do it in the bullet just like that so basically how I'm doing this is I'm letting a bullet I'm teleporting a bullet to my handle of the tool and then we'll instance a body velocity and it will just go the direction of the mouse basically so to do that we need to get the max force and then we'll just do vector 3 new because you need to have it pretty big math dot huge math dot huge math dot huge all right so then we'll do velocity equals mouse dot we need to get the look vector of the mouse because it's basically the position of where you are and we need to do we need to multiply it because of how much stuff like how much the force of it basically so I usually I, I guess I just do 140 so now that we have that we need to make the bullet whenever it's touched right so bullet dot touched connect function right um, we need to hit so it knows so we'll do local we'll call this enemy humanoid because we'll be checking for it equals hit dot parent um find first child enemy I don't know, humanoid obviously right so um so we'll do if enemy human no we'll do if not enemy human then we'll just return it it'll just go back we'll just return right 
and then we'll do if enemy hume then we'll make it take damage right because if it hits you let's just say 30 damage right that's, that's changeable but what we need right now is a debounce right so we'll just call this touch debounce and we'll set it to true right so we'll do if enemy humanoid we'll just do and touch debounce is equal to true then this will happen right so we'll set touch debounce to false boom right so now here we can play and it should work properly So let's go. Uh, do I have a dummy? Cool. All right, let's get one. So I have him here. So I'm actually taking damage myself. Cause I'm the player and it's detecting a character. So what we need to do here actually is do and. Okay, so we need to find our humanoid here. We'll go human equals child, wait for child, humanoid. So of course my uh, recorder stopped streaming, I just need a better computer, this is such a crappy computer, but my fault. But anyways, I did it in like two minutes and I just realized that it died. So whatever, I'll just explain. So here basically, if it's not the character, then it will return, it'll just go back, and it'll just keep returning, because if it is the character, so. But if it's not, then it'll set the debounce, right? And then it'll find that new humanoid, and I had a function that would just add an explosion to the player, but that won't do any damage. Then if it hits the player, it will make the function go, it'll call the function, and then it'll, the person could take damage, right? So here we'll just set the to true, right? No, my fault. Make this T, right? Now we play the game, and we should be in good shape. Just give it a minute. What's this? Missing something? Oh, I think I'm missing an end. Okay, let's try. Are you kidding me again? Function at line three. Oh, oops. Okay, now we should be good. All right, just give it a second and let's try it now. So, is he taking damage? I'm confused. Okay, so we did take damage. So if we get a dummy, and we'll just put him in here, does he have a humanoid? Okay, good. Let's shoot at him. That is really weird. Let's try him, I guess. I don't know why it's doing that, but it works. See, okay, it's taking damage, but it's just not showing a health bar. We can check this dummy's health as well. Okay, see, it's, it has 100, right? And then now if I shoot it, it 
should be at zero, right? Dude, that is weird. But these two dummies both died. So I think, I know for certain it works. And even this one is putting an explosion, so I think it just has something to do with those free model dummies. So, yep, that's really the end of the video. Uh, also, you can put a debounce, and I'll actually make the script and put it down below. But first, let me do this. Let me add a debounce out of cooldown. Equals, I'll just make it three, se three seconds and. Equals true, right? So, what I hear. If DV equals true, then false, right? We'll have wait, cooldown, and then it's true, right? So if the cooldown is equal to three seconds, we can do this right after the bullet gets added. Game dot debris add item bullet and then let's do three seconds as well so this will automatically just destroy the bullet in three seconds so yeah that's it simple gun uh it's been your boy nate the great and i'm out the script will be in the description by the way